Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in with us here at Silicon Beats. Today we're going to create a wobble bass sound in GarageBand. Now go ahead and pull up a blank track, uh, just as I have here. By default, you'll get a piano. But we want to go ahead and change that to a synth. So we'll scroll over here. If you click on your edit tab, you'll see our sound generator is set to a piano. Let's go ahead and change that to analog mono. So it's this dirty synth sound. Now in your effects rack, you can go ahead and activate your compressor, which it throws in there automatically. Just beefens it up a touch. And to get our wobble, we'll want to throw on our automatic filter. Now the most basic way to create a wobble is to modulate the filter cutoff or the frequency cutoff of your filter. So here's our filter. We have our frequency, our resonance, how intense it is, our different modes, and then the speed of our modulation. So we'll go up on our frequency to about 78 to 80 percent. We can leave our resonance where it's at. And then we'll definitely go up on our intensity. And we'll leave it set to up and down. Now as I increase my speed, you'll start to hear that wobble. So the modes give you a couple of different options. And we want to set our resonance to a point where it gives our filter a little bit more character and expression. Now intensity is just basically the wet mix. Now to really get some character out of our wobble, we'll want to automate some different speed changes. You can do this by going up, clicking on this down arrow, and uh, your automation lane will pop up. And you'll want to select the uh, correct parameter, so we'll go to Add Automation. Here are my different processors, and we'll click on Automatic Filter, and then choose Speed. Now it's also worth mentioning that you could modulate some of these other parameters to get even more expression out of your sound, uh, but the speed is a good place to start. So we'll just choose speed and you click OK. And we can begin to create some automation envelopes to vary our speed. So right now it starts out at 1 16th, works out pretty well. We'll create a couple hit points and we'll dip it down to a fourth. And we'll speed it up a touch to a 32nd. And then down to an eighth. So I'll just drop this audio file down to this track. So go ahead and show this automation lane some TLC and create a wobble with some character to it. Uh, once you get a nice speed down, again, you can just click on Add Automation. And uh, you can choose frequency or maybe your mode um, and really take this sound a step further by automating these parameters. So this has been an inside look at how to create a wobble bass in GarageBand. 
Check us out at siliconbeats.com. Thank <laughs> you.